I'm Jules Lowell, and we're going to discuss how to become an it girl. Let's get started. You want to make some positive changes in your life in order to better yourself, but maybe you don't know where to start. Maybe you don't have any older sisters or good friends, or maybe you didn't have a mom in your life and you just need a little bit of guidance. Maybe you're a little bit older and you spend a lot of time fucking around in your younger years and you're ready to start again. I'm here to help. The first thing you want to do is get your finances in order if you haven't already done that. If you've always done that, good for you. There's no prize money or cookies being given away. Chill out. Not all of us were born perfect. So you need to find out what your credit score is. You need to find out what your debts are. You need to contact those companies and see if you can get those things off your account. You can look up ways to write a letter to those companies to see if you can get those things taken off of your account. I'm not a financial expert, so Google is free. Just keep that in mind. But take out a notebook and write down all of your every single bill that you have from your rent or mortgage all the way down to your Netflix subscription, every single cent gas money lunch, uh, every dime that you spend, and then take how much you make after taxes, every single paycheck. Are you spending too much? Are you spending right at your means? Is there anything that can be cut? Does it call for a season of time where you might need to get a little part-time gig or side hustle so that you can catch up? Notice that I did not say that you have to be rich because I know rich people who are cash poor and don't have a dime to their name. And I know people who have a humble job who got money stashed away under their mattress. So don't get it twisted. But we need to be smart girlies who have their shit in order because here's what happens if you don't have your finances in order and if you're constantly out of money. You are more likely to be male-centered because you are looking for a guy to swoop in and save the day because you're tired of paying the bills on your own. And so many people fall prey to this misconception that a dual income will solve all of their problems. And that is simply not true. I have known too many couples over the years, so many women who reach out to me who actually do have men who work and they have a dual income, yet they are still struggling to survive and make ends meet. Unless those two dual incomes are really good incomes, the fact that they're dueling makes no difference. You put yourself in a better position, especially to be more confident and more selective when you have things in order financially. My microphone is sticking out. Um, but I always talk about how I would never date a man who is broke because broke men tend to have super low self-esteem. They're really insecure. They're super competitive and very selfish. And I also do not recommend that women who are broke date because of the aforementioned reasons. You become less confident and you are more likely to just settle for anybody for the sake of having a dual income that's actually really not dual. Um, so you have more confidence to be more selective because you're not going through the world looking for somebody to save the day. FYI, men are not superheroes, okay? They're human beings who are imperfect and, and don't we know that? Also, if you cannot afford, let's say you go out on a date with a man and you know there's an assumption that he's going to pay and then he skips out on you and now you're sitting there with the bill and get unless you get lucky you're gonna have to pay that bill before you can leave that restaurant unless the restaurant owner feels bad for you or whatever the case may be but if you can't even afford to cover the price of dinner if something goes awry if you cannot afford an uber to safely get to and from a destination or to safely get home if you're stranded. If a guy wants to fly you out, I actually don't recommend that unless, you know, a lot of time has passed just for safety. I don't know. But if a guy offers to fly you out, granted, you know, you feel safe with him and you have common sense about the situation. If you cannot afford to fly yourself back, or to get a hotel room for X amount of days until you're able to fly yourself out, I mean, fly yourself back home, you do not need to be letting no man fly you out. And 
I once heard a woman say, don't let a man do anything for you that you can't afford to maintain yourself. So let's say you meet a rich man and everything's going great and you don't have any bills to pay, but he kicks you to the curb one day. You don't have any money. So everybody's going to scream prenup, prenup, but most of y'all saying that aren't going to get one or nor are you going to marry a man who makes enough money for it to make a difference in your life anyway. So just calm down. But you get, let's say you get with a rich man and he kicks you to the curb. You have no money saved. You have made no income. You have depended fully on him. And now you're screwed. So does that mean you have to be able to afford a mansion on your own? No, but you should be able to afford a down payment and a couple months rent on an apartment so you can get back on your feet. If you are starting at ground zero and you have absolutely nothing, you are putting yourself in a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous position. If you want to be an it girl, you need to have solid, unbreakable, unmovable standards and boundaries. It girls do not allow people to walk all over them. They are not people pleasers. They are not pick me's. They do not allow bullshit. They will leave you at the first red flag. I once heard a woman on TikTok say, the benefit of a doubt has never benefited me. And that is a very true statement. Women, we are so quick to be like, well, nobody's perfect. Well, maybe he didn't mean it. Well, maybe he's tired. Well, maybe it's this. Well, maybe it's that. And even with family, well, maybe, you know, I have to understand that my mom gave her life to raise me. Yeah, that's, she's supposed to. She's your parent. She would get locked up if she didn't, to some extent, do what needed to be done to make sure you had what you needed to grow up. With friends, a lot of people are obsessed with quantity over quality, and you're putting up with things that you should not be putting up with in your friend groups. So you need to have clear boundaries. When it comes to dating, what is that set time of day that you will not allow a man to call you? I know for me, 9 p.m. Don't call me after 9 p.m. There's nothing good going on after 9 p.m. I've done enough dating in my life to know that there are no conversations of substance going on after 9 p.m. Plus, I'm not in high school. I'm too old to be doing that. I need my sleep, sir. I need my sleep, sir. So you need to go to bed. Okay, and I need time to chill. I need time to unwind and watch my favorite TV shows, to shower, do my skincare, and get ready for the next day. I'm not making my whole entire life about you. And if I express to you, hey, I don't receive calls after 9 p.m., and you proceed to call me after 9 p.m., that's showing me that you don't respect my, my boundaries. There better be an emergency going on for you to be calling me after 9 p.m. So it girls have clear boundaries that they stick by and that they enforce. It's the whole fuck around and find, and find out attitude that it girls have. It girls have goals. Does that mean that everybody should start their own business and become a CEO of a Fortune 500? Absolutely not. And plus everybody should not be business owners. Trust me on this one. But you need to have a some kind of goal, a goal. I don't care if that goal is to read 12 books to represent all 12 months of the year. I don't care if that goal is to save up money to go on a cruise ship. I don't care if that money is to go back to if that goal is to go back to school and get your degree. You need to have something going on in your life that has nothing to do with dating or planning on hoping and wishing that you're going to get married one day, hoping and wishing that you're something that has everything to do with just you. And not only do you need goals, you need to be actively pursuing those goals. One of my mutuals on TikTok talks about this. A lot of us are setting ourselves up for failure and we're settling in dating because we don't have nothing else going on other than to sit by the phone and wait for that man to call. That makes you desperate. Have something else other than work and sleep and eating and cooking and laundry 
going on in your life, something that causes you to have to get out of the house, something that causes you to sit down and spend time with yourself uninterrupted. My sister once said that, I, I think it was my sister that said it, I'm not really sure, but somebody said, I don't want to be friends with anybody who ain't got nothing to lose. And I've learned this the hard way about people. If you don't have anything going on in your life, that means you don't give a shit about nothing and you will be out here being reckless and getting me mixed up in your bullshit. And I do not have time for that. If I ask you what you've been up to lately and you say nothing or you say work, we need to fix that. In the nicest way possible, I need you to get a life. It girls take care of and they treat themselves. You know, maybe when you were younger, it was cool to run off of two hours of sleep and a prayer. But now that we want to get our life in order, a big part of our physical and mental and emotional health is making sure we get rest. It's making sure we get enough water. It's making sure we are going to therapy and there are tons of affordable ways. You can Google it. Y'all will do all the research in the world and pay all the money to be on a dating app. I'm going to need you to have that same energy to find you a therapist. I know there's a company called Open Path that charges you a flat fee of $60 and you can take advantage of the therapists on that site. I know a lot of jobs offer an employee assistance program that will give you uh, three free visits. There are group therapy. If you want therapy, you can find it. Y'all, a lot of us will spend so much energy and time trying to find a man, but won't spend a fraction of that taking care of our mental and emotional health. So I'm going to need you to make some changes to take care of yourself. I'm going to need you to go to the doctor regularly and get checked out. Do you need to be taking a multivitamin? It doesn't mean become a fitness buff. I'm not saying, you know, you got to start lifting weights, but do you do anything? Do you so much as dance for 10 minutes and have a little fun? We take care of ourselves. We get rest. We don't put ourselves, we avoid stressful situations as much as possible. Do we like gossip and drama? Yeah. Yeah. But we stay away from that as much as possible and we keep ourselves out of it. I want to hear the tea, but I don't want to be the tea, if you know what I mean. It girls treat themselves. I've met women who haven't bought themselves anything since their kids were children and their kids are grown now. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Every time you get paid, you need to buy yourself something. Does that mean you need to go to Tiffany's and buy yourself a ring? If you can afford it, do it. But I don't care if that treat means I'm going to go to Sonic and sit in the drive-thru and order myself a bacon cheeseburger and sit there by myself for a full hour and just enjoy it. Whatever budget is appropriate for you, I need you to get in the habit of treating yourself because you deserve it. You work hard. Whether or not you raise kids, just simply existing on this planet is a hard thing to do. So you need to honor yourself and acknowledge that. Stop being this martyr, sacrificial lamb who's like, I've never done anything for myself. That ain't cute. That just shows you put yourself last. And we need, we need to stop doing that. And if you have children, that's showing your children that they also need to put themselves last because kids do what we do. They don't do what we say. So you need to show them to value themselves by showing that you value yourself. And there's nothing wrong with wanting a relationship, but how are you going to, I want a man to come in and spoil me and treat me like this. And you don't even treat yourself like that. You don't even treat yourself like that. When's the last time you bought yourself flowers? When's the last time you took yourself out, out to eat? When's the last time you treated yourself to a spa day? When's the last time you really took care of yourself and sat down somewhere and rested when you were sick? But you want a man to swoop in and put on a cape and save you. No, I need you to value yourself regardless of a man or not. Because just because you have a man 
doesn't mean you stop valuing yourself. You still have to take care of yourself and honor yourself and spoil yourself. It girls do not settle. It girls will not be in a relationship just for the sake of being in a relationship. And that goes for any type of relationship. They're not just going to be your friend just to say they have friends. They're not just going to keep coming around you just because you're their family. They're not going to stay loyal to a company just for the sake of having a job. They want to be treated properly in every area of their life. And if they are not being treated properly, of course, not every situation deserves to be cut off cold. Sometimes there's discussions that should be had because we're mature adults who know how to communicate. So you have those discussions in those situations. And then if they don't do anything to change, then you dip. And then sometimes there are situations where you don't give a warning and you just dip out. But we don't we don't stick around and give our all to people who are not reciprocating that to us because we understand that our time is valuable. The next thing is they don't waste time hoping for bad situations to change. And this is much uh, like the prior point that I made. We don't settle and we also don't sit around begging for people to treat us the way that we deserve to be treated. Like I said, there are times when you leave without warning and then there might be times when you have a discussion and if they are not making any changes, we don't wait around and keep giving them chance after chance after this is not a casino. You are not a slot machine. We don't do chance after chance after chance after chance. We, we, we don't waste our time. You know what I said. I told you what my expectations are and you're repeatedly choosing to disrespect me. Nope. I got to go. It gives very immature energy and insanity when you know how somebody is they've shown you how they are they're not going to change and you keep sitting there waiting for them to change when they've shown you they're not going to change we don't waste seconds hours and years of our lives hoping for a situation to change that just isn't going to change we know when to call it quits and lastly we are not male centered. Now people always pick on me and say, but you talk about men all the time. Well, this in a way is kind of my job and this is my area of expertise. But outside of the app, I don't talk about men in my everyday day to day life. On these apps, I get paid to talk about these things. I'm an expert. I consider myself an expert in this area because of all the mistakes that I've made and women that I've spoken to and men that I've spoken to over the years. So outside of the content that I get paid to make and the people that I get paid to um, who pay me to help them sort through their relationship issues, I do not talk about men because I realize that there's so many other beautiful things in life to focus my energy on content creation, helping women, um, taking care of myself, having fun, resting, watching my favorite TV shows, reading, writing, their, your, your friends and the things that they are up to in their lives, healthy family members, as far as like healthy meaning, you know, you have a healthy relationship with them keeping up with them, seeing what they have going on in their lives. If the only thing that you are ever worried about is when you're going to get a man, how to keep that man, when are you going to get married, when are you going to have kids, you're boring and you're depressing to be around. There's nothing wrong with wanting a man, but if that's all you, every week I'm talking to this guy and can you believe what he said? I'm talking to that guy, can you believe what he said? Can you believe what my boyfriend said? Yeah, I can believe what he said because he said the same thing to you last month and you're still there. OMG, please get something else going on in your life other than men, it girls value their lives, they value their friends, they value their families, and they may want a relationship, but it's not their whole identity. 
They are not pick me's. They don't live to serve men. They live their lives. And meeting a good man is an extra added bonus. But they don't obsess over it. If they're single, they're not depressed about it and constantly moping around because I don't have a Valentine this year. No. They are living their lives. Because I'm going to say something that's kind of mean. Well, people who aren't ready to face the truth will think it's mean. Just because you want a man, just because you want a relationship, doesn't mean you're guaranteed to have one. And you might get one, but it's not guaranteed to last forever. You might want to start a family, but there are tons of women who want that and they will never have children. And, and adoption is expensive. In vitro is expensive. So you have to live your life, just live. And I know a lot of women hate when people say stuff like that. And I used to hate it. But it's true. Nobody's guaranteed a relationship or a family. What would you do if so? And, and those of you who are happy to be single, I need y'all to be quiet for a second. I'm not talking to you. But to everybody else, what would you do if a fairy came to you and said, hey, you're ne I'm just going to let you know now you're never going to be in a relationship or get married. Sorry. You're going to be single for the rest of your life. A lot of you guys would have a mental breakdown. A lot of you guys would become pick me's trying to make every relationship work because you just cannot be alone. If you cannot be alone, that is a problem. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with wanting a relationship. But if you cannot be alone, that is a problem. I hope this video was helpful to someone. How do you like the camera format? How do you like the new microphone? I'm trying to upgrade and just do little things to better my channel. What should I talk about in my next video? I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.